So that's really important, storytelling. Presenting the problem and preventing presenting a solution that these members of Congress can actually put into effect. So that's one. I think also uh, if if you go into a particular member's office, if you can find something in their district or if it's a senator in their state, you can, you can find a story in their state and, and you're saying, hey, this happened to your constituent. This is a problem and you can fix it. That helps a lot as well. Um, ultimately, you want to think that even with what we were lobbying on, you want to think that every... Uh, member of Congress is passionate about it. But to be honest, not everyone's passionate about it. You know, I know for in terms of CDA 230, unfortunately, there are members of Congress that, you know, they were really influenced by the technology sector. So they weren't as passionate to do something about it. But it was when we bought in their constituents. That's when they I I did not see pushback. I remember there was one particular staffer and and I won't name names, one particular staffer in the state. Um But, you know, when I met with them independently, you know, they were candid with me, which is good. That's another thing. Build those relationships so they can be candid with you. But when I brought in survivors, like four survivors from their state, they did not give me any pushback (laughs) during that meeting. (laughs) So that's really important, too. Um, And then as the third thing is building these relationships. I've definitely had formed great relationships where if I if something wasn't moving, you know, the staffer told me why. And I was like, great. As opposed to if you don't have that relationship, the staffer would just, you know, say something crazy. They won't give you the full truth of why something's not moving because, you know, they want to protect their member. They want to do X, Y, and Z. But um, and then I have to do more digging and all this stuff. But So you have to form a great relationship for the staffers to say, hey, this is not moving because of this stupid thing that has nothing to do with it because of these politics. And then maybe I can actually influence those politics or maybe I, I have to say, OK, well, we have to wait to do X, Y, and Z, because I can't influence, like, I don't know, the majority leader being pissed at this particular member, that's the member to member thing, so I can't do anything about it. So, you know, so so it's always <laughs> have those really great relationship with those staffers for them to really, like, give you the lowdown and to be honest with you and frank, because I've definitely had staffers tell me, you know what, again, C-Day 230, I've had staffers tell me, you know what, like, my caucus is not down for C-Day 230 reform. They're just not. Like, if you want to see something move, you need to ex- you need to contact so and so and so and so, and really put pressure on them. I'm like, great, I have a game plan. 